Are you looking for the best Miller welding helmet? In this video, we will look at some of the four best welding helmet on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Miller Digital Performance Welding Helmet. This Miller Auto Darkening Welding Helmet falls into a considerably more affordable range. Made from heavy-duty black plastic and weighing in at 2.9 pounds, this helmet is lighter and less bulky than some of its rivals, making it an ideal choice for jobs that require more long-term endurance out on the field. The most prominent feature of this helmet is its superior focus on light interference. Sporting clear light lens technology, its range of colors make the visibility during the welding process appear more natural and easy to distinguish. It additionally offers three different modes, weld, cut, and grind. The size of the helmet measures 12 by 12 by 10 inches. When working with this helmet, I found the range of digital adjustments a bit overwhelming at first, however, it didn't take too long to figure them out. Once I had a decent grasp on its functionality, I found that the settings were a nice feature to work with, even if I didn't necessarily have a need for all of them. There's little to nitpick over with this welding helmet. Its respective carrying bag, along with being made from plastic, makes transporting it to and from work a breeze. Its straps are well suited for the weight and size of the entire helmet and feel comfortable even after hours of use. Although it's not as elaborate and fancy as other helmets, this product is definitely consistent and built to last. I've never had an issue with its durability and overall would say this helmet has little to no substantial drawbacks for what it is. At Number 2. Miller Digital Infinity Welding Helmet. The Miller Digital Infinity series is an advanced line of welding helmet that is relatively all-inclusive and well-equipped for most welding projects. This helmet is made of high-quality and durable black plastic weighing in at 3.4 pounds, making it one of the heavier helmets on the market. One of its most impressive features is its massive 13.4 square inch viewing screen, offering an increased field of view in four distinct operating modes that make it suitable for almost any welding scenario. The helmet itself measures 12 by 12 by 10 inches. In addition to its superior viewing area, the four independent arc sensors make this helmet's lens response quite impressive. It goes without saying that the increased visibility this helmet offers makes it a fine candidate for almost any job. The weight of the overall helmet is relatively balanced, making it nice for long-term use. The enhanced headgear and inner cushioning offer a considerate amount of customization, which is a nice feature for those that often find themselves having to mess with the settings of their helmet. Like many welding helmets, it took me a little time to become adjusted to the varying features, although the learning curve of this particular helmet wasn't too terrible. This Miller Digital Infinity Series helmet is certainly a bit more expensive compared to its competitors, although its diverse range of features makes up for the increased cost. I would definitely recommend it for anyone seeking an enhanced range of visibility. At Number 3. Miller Classic Series Welding Helmet. The Miller Classic Series welding helmets are incredibly compact and affordable helmets, making them great for personal use. Made from nylon and weighing in at an incredibly light 2 pounds, this welding helmet is definitely easy to transport and easy to wear for long periods of time. The entire helmet itself measures 11.1 by 10.2 by 9.4 inches, giving it a tight fit. It has a fair variety of available lenses and provides the standard auto-darkening features that are vital to most welding helmets. Being one of the cheaper helmets available on the market, the Miller Classic Series is a nice and casual helmet that can be used in most settings. However, for more intensive jobs I would probably recommend something with more display settings and work modes. Its viewing area is also comparatively smaller than a lot of welding helmets, only measuring in at 5.5 square inches, making it a little more difficult to see through than others. Despite the somewhat lacking screen size, the lens is superb and offers crisp visibility. Overall the lens speed and sensitivity are very responsive and I've yet to have an issue with it, although the helmet lacks some of the more advanced adjustments that make welding easier. The Classic Series definitely offers a lot of bang for the buck. Although it only has two sensors, it's a great introductory welding helmet for students and individuals just starting out in the field of welding who have a limited budget to work with. At Number 4. Miller Classic Series VSI Welding Helmet. 
Coming in last, the Miller Classic Series VSI is another affordable yet effective welding helmet on the market. It features auto-darkening technology that a lot of welders look for in two vital operating modes, weld mode and X mode. This helmet is suitable in both personal and professional settings, making it a versatile and long-lasting choice. Measuring 12.3 by 10.3 by 10.1 inches and weighing in at 2.8 pounds, it's a decent-sized piece of equipment made from nylon that is both sturdy yet not too straining on the neck. The automatic on and off power control makes it easy to manage and the setting adjustments aren't too complicated, meaning that the setup of this helmet doesn't come with a steep learning curve, unlike more advanced helmets. I found that the 5.8 square inch viewing area is a little small in comparison to the overall size of the helmet, giving it a somewhat clunky feel. Like almost all Miller welding helmets in its class, the lens on this product is definitely higher quality than a lot of rivaling lenses, offering clean and crisp images that function well even in ambient light settings. The shade settings are not as distinctly nuanced as some helmets, although they're adequate for most of the jobs I've encountered. Out of all the various headgears I've used, the Classic Series VSI has one of the most comfortable interiors I've used. Even after a particularly long workday, this helmet didn't require much adjusting, a minor yet incredibly important detail, especially if you'll be welding on a daily basis.